Drivers, start your engines! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, race fans of all ages, welcome back to the Bora FedEx Amateur Series Season 6, race number 12 from Texas. Four races remain until the start of the playoffs. On pole, you have Nick Alsop, Kyle Kesey, then you have Matt Flood and Buford Sacco, set his mail Kurt Hamilton, Servant Sarah Hand and Chad Brennan, Paul Wright and Landon Finway. Wies von Schmidt and Richard Sweet, Scott Forward and Keegan Alsop Jr., Ansel Meadows and Luciana Reese, Hayden Meadows and Daniel Cole, David Cervantes, and Colin Francis. 34 laps here from Texas. Your points leader, Nick Alsop, starting on pole. He has a 20 point advantage here with four races remaining till the playoffs begins. There's about 20 playoff points on the line for the points leader at the end of the regular season, and he definitely wants that. Remember, those playoff points do transfer all the way to Homestead to end the season. And already the Team Penske boys battling it out for second, and the Red Bull boys, all three of them right behind him. Everyone did make it to the green flag, so everyone will be scored for the race accordingly. Nick Alsop will lead lap number one. Kyle Kesey trying to rock the outside here, as well as Kurt Hamilton in that 33. Paul Reagan to peek to the inside, almost make it three wide. A little bit of contact there between the 82 and the 22. And don't look now, Matt Flood challenging the points leader for the top spot. While they're doing that, don't count out Kyle Kesey. Here he comes in that 22. Team Penske boys lining it up on the inside. Kyle Kesey making it three wide for the top spot. Oh, he backed out of it, luckily. Man, they have the Red Bull guys in hot pursuit. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. Nick also will. Oh, man, guys. I told you my computer's about dead. And <laughs> oh, man. It's bad. Kyle Kesey to the inside of his teammate, Matt Flood. That beautiful Texas sunset in the back. As Kyle Kesey goes for the lead. Let's take a look out. Actually, I'll wait for this battle to die down. I want to take a look through the packs. Everyone's running. As Nick also trying to make his way back to the top spot. Nick also up to the inside of Matt Flood. Here comes Servant Sarahan. He won the most recent race at Dover. He might take a three wide here for second. The Red Bull guys have definitely been the class of the field, even though none of them are leading the points. Servants Aaron has a record so far, 11 playoff points to his credit. Two wins, Watkins going into Dover. Trouble for Alice Flood as she's dropping way back. She's off pace tremendously. Not at all surprised to see some of these guys in the back, but a lot of them make no sense. Ooh, oh, oh, the 88 and the 7 nearly make some contact there off turn number 4. The 9 of Daniel Cole, luckily he's going to back out of that 3 wide situation. You don't want to go 3 wide in the trial, man. It just nothing good ever happens from it. With the 98 kind of washed up the hill there and almost got into the 33. He's going to allow the 54 of... And some Meadows to get a nice little run at him. Three wide in return number three is Maggie Ford's making a bold move on Steve Love and Colin Francis. Oh, she backed out of it. Daniel get her on the 88 nearly ran her over. Meanwhile, oh, Matt Flood's falling way back. Paul right up into the top five. Set his mail all over his back bumper. Three wide off turn number two. The 19 of Wiesmann Schmidt kind of got squeezed a little bit there. They're still three wide. As this looks to be a battle for about sixth. And Matt Flood appears to have won the battle. Set his mail all over the back bumper and quarter panel of Paul Wright in the five. Oh, and they caught the slow car out. Flood. Apologize for my phone, right, ready? And that's going to hold up everybody on the inside. This changes things dramatically. Alice Flood, nowhere she could have gone. She almost got up into the 98. So that really hurts because that was the leader. And now the leader's all Nick Alsop. Your points leader all out front. Always lonesome. I keep saying all, and I hate it. 
He's going to go from second, half a tenth back, to about a second lead, I'd say. Exactly a second lead. Damn. All right. Buffoon Sacco battling it out. How about Lucienne Reese in that 21? Get Darcy R. Pretty solid run. They've had a, an up and down season, to say the least. They did have, they do have a win. When will we start seeing these guys on pit road, I wonder? Oh, man. Everyone's still getting held up. You hate to see it. A lot of these guys were up inside the top 20. Maggie Ford tried getting out underneath the, the eight and it just didn't work. Tom Akers nearly getting into that State Farm Dodge. Both the Akers racing cars are actually in it. The 92 and the 59. Man, you hate, hate, hate to see it. Meanwhile, Nick Alsop's lead is slightly shrinking as the 99 did gain about three hundredths of a second on him last time by. Ooh, gained about a tenth that time. The 54 of Ansel Meadows is flying through the pack. Was back there in about 14th earlier, and the lap car definitely helped their situation in that KVM Toyota. However, they are still climbing. Now getting past Wies von Schmidt and that sister team of JGR. And the pack is quickly gaining about half a, se a half a tenth each lap as it's averaging out. Alice Flood's last lap, 31-14. And unfortunately for the colleague racing Chevy, there hasn't been a crash or anything. No one's really dropped out of the field yet. So her chances of having an even decent finish, even with the ups and downs, is quickly fading. Burt Ford and Tom Akers nearly making contact. A lot of these guys hoping for a caution. You can see Alice Flood almost in the same shot if we go to the TV cam. Oh, and I think it, I think the card blew up or is pit road or green flag pissed off happening. Because this is about the time. We should see people on pit road any time now, to be honest. Ooh, three wide. That is a battle for ni uh, ninth. Did the 11 finally give up? Nope, oh, changing tires. I guess when you're that far off pace, you might as well just start the, the green flag cycle. As now food Sacco's less than three quarters of a second back. Looks like Nick also running a slightly lower line than the 20, other than the 99. Ooh, he actually put time on the 99 as well. Not real sure what happened there, but Nick also been very impressive this season, the young rookie out of Kevin Harvick Incorporated. Some three wide action in the back. That battle for ninth has been legit. Now it's for tenth. Servants area and says got held up by the Alice Flood lapped car. And now they are out for redemption. Servants Aaron has had a great season, but we cannot stress how important winning the regular season championship is, man. Those tw He might have 11 playoff points right now. But the uh, 29 be getting 20 just for winning it. And the 29 is already at 6. Servant Sarah hands 65 points back. Over a full race behind. Almost a full race and a half. So Servant Sarah needs the 29 to have some issues these last couple races. Definitely possible. Would not rule that out. The 11 is on track again. And up to speed. Maybe there was just issues with the car. They got fixed. Dalton Riley up to the top 30. How about that? Robert Stone get a nice run on the outside of Damian Willard. Good lord. I'm very surprised we haven't seen cars on pit road yet. Other than Alice Flood. They, this will be a one-stop race. Depending on cautions, obviously. But. The food sack of all the ground he gained on Nick also is quickly fading. It's now Luciana Reese going for a second. And a power move to the inside. She got by Paul Wright. And now she's working to one of the strongest cars this season, Bafood Sacco. Currently, Bafood Sacco sitting uh, 15th in points, uh, 13 ahead of the playoff cutoff. So, he needs to have a pretty strong race. The top five would really boost him. So, it's not like he's in a concerning situation. 
Buffoon does have a win and six playoff points to his credit. Less than 15 laps to go. Now, Paul Wright's about to jump from fourth to second here. And less than a lap. Oh, contact for the five and the 21. We've seen this before, man. Is there a caution? Oh, Nick also is pitting. And that almost destroyed the 21 of the five. And the 21 side drafting her way uh, past to lead the lap. That is a bonus point. Not a playoff point, but it is a bonus point for the regular season standings. And that is very important. Is that South Point Casino Chevy? Getting out front. So I'm very surprised 29 started the pit cycle. You know you have a good car whenever you feel comfortable enough to start the pit stop. Oh, the 21 and the 5 made major contact there. That could have destroyed someone. Oh, and speaking of destroyed someone, Kyle Kesey's around. This is a caution without a doubt. And this... Oh, people are upside down. Burt Ford's in it. Dalton Riley, Perry Allen, Maggie Ford, Kyle Akers not actually this it didn't trap the 29 alive down what rear brakes are just having watching the 22 of Kyle Kesey it already has rear end damage because this mod kind of sucks but let's see oh my god landed Fenway just destroyed them did William Stone get through that without any damage because he might have just passed a handful of cars okay William Stone and landed Fenway had already made contact and that sent William Stone sliding past the handful of cars man you love to see it not that people got wrecked but wow what a crazy situation and then Burt Ford I saw was upside down damn he was way back the 34th really hate that this mod does that they already have damage for they got in the wreck technically because this is a replay so oh he just kind of gets tipped over and Burt Ford goes upside down and because of the the way the cost came out, I think this helps Nick also about a lot. We'll be back to find out. Okay. Oh, we got text. Perry Allen does DNF, as does Joseph Gibson, Burt Ford, Steve Love, Maggie Ford, Landon Finway, and Colin Francis. Couple cars a lap down. Couple cars at the tail end of the lap. The leader is technically the five. Yeah, the leader is technically the five. The 29 of Nick also will be ninth, so this didn't hurt him as much as I thought. With less than 10 laps to go, the leader is Paul Wright. Right there in the five second place will be Buffoon Sacco. Third, Chad Brennan. Fourth, Lucian Reese. Fifth, Anselm Meadows. Sixth, Luis Von Schmidt. Seventh, William Stone. He passed a lot of cars there. Eighth, Hayden Meadows. Ninth, Nick Flood. And tenth, Stanley Winners. So, Paul Wright hasn't won since Daytona to open the season. What better place to turn your momentum around than right before the playoff starts? And they have a lot of thick traffic up ahead of them to sort this out. Paul Wright and that Flying J pilot number five for Junior Motorsports. Last thing he wants right now is a caution. Actually, that would probably help him because he would get past all this lap traffic. This traffic is slowing down the 99 as Chad Brennan's going to move up to second. The 23 is a lap car, so the 21 is running fourth. Paul Wright didn't gain as much as I would have thought, man. They're still right on his bumper. And somehow with damage, even though it makes no sense. <laughs> Lucy Henry's finally clearing the 23 of Cynthia Bright. Cynthia Bright was your Eldora winner. Shouldn't be a lap down, but because the way the caution fell out, kind of trapped her at the end of the cycle. Chad Brennan for Team Penske. He's had a hellacious season. And a win would really, really turn the season around for him. Five and a half laps to go right here. Chad Brennan has reeled in the five car as he is working hard to get past the 31 of Jack Marks. The food sack will throw a crazy block on the 21. Oh, and Chad gets kind of got a little loose with the 99 on his quarter panel. Took air off a spoiler. But the 31 side drafting his way past the five. If Akash comes out right now, he would still be on the lead lap. He has to push. Got to point out, though, if there's a caution, this race is over. You just got to let the leaders race it out because the top four, you put a blanket over them. The five, the 99, the 02, the 21. Oh, the 99 drifted up the track. That gives the 02 a huge run. These new body styles, man, they're a lot more aero dependent. Look at this battle. Chad Brennan fighting his way through the middle. He's trying to side draft his way to the lead. He's not letting the five pull away whatsoever. The 99 just got real loose as the 21 got on his quarter panel. Lucien Reese has been a, a regular in Boris since the Premier Series Season 5. 
She's never won. What better place to do it than today? Chad Brennan, though, he's got that lead. I don't think he feels like giving up three laps to go here in the Amateur Series at Texas. And this is arguably one of the better races we've ever seen, man. You could have blinked over the top four, side drafting, no one giving an inch. And now Luis von Schmidt wants to join the party as he gets right up to the bumper of the 21. Buffoon Sacco cleared all his competitors. He is now trying to reel in the leader. Coming up to two laps to go. And I think Chad Brennan done put time on him. He did, about a tenth. No one in front of the O2 to worry about. Although they are battling. Daniel Gitterow and Keegan Olsen Jr. This is a battle for 26. They have every right to battle it out. That is one extra point in terms of the championship. If they get to battle in too long, that's going to reel. That's going to help the O2 reel them in. And if that happens, coming to the white flag, man. Buffoon Sacco is exactly what he wants to see. White flag in the air for the Amateur Series at Texas. Buffoon Sacco did cut down into that gap just a little bit. That Team Penske forward. I don't think it's going to be enough, man. The S7 did do a crossover on the 88, but it's not going to be enough to hold up the O2. Here come to turns 3 and 4. The 99 is as close as he's been in a couple of laps, but it's not going to matter. Chad Brennan off turn number 4 is going to find a way to victory lane in the Amateur Series as Chad Brennan will win at Texas. And what a race, man. That battle between the O2, the 99, the 21, and the 5, that was some... Historic racing, man. That was awesome. We'll be back to your official results. All right, your official results goes followed, but first, let's see who got that fastest lap. Servant Sarahan gets his 12th playoff point of the season. Chad Brennan gets the win. Food Sacco just a tenth and a half off. Then you have Luciana Reese getting third, Paul Wright fourth, and Ansel Meadows getting a really good top five. How about von Schmidt sixth? Servant Sarahan was coming. He got seventh. Tom Akers was running at the back of the pack at the time of the caution. I could have swore he gets eighth. Kurt Hamilton ninth and Stanley Winters getting out, rounding out your top ten. You can see where everyone else finishes. Robert Stone getting 14th. Your points leader Nick also getting 15th. This might tighten the points race up a little bit. Kurt Hamilton second in points does get ninth. So it went from a 20 point lead to about a, I don't know, six. Um, you can see everyone else finished. 27 cars remaining on the lead lap. All the way down to Perry Allen getting dead last. So, Chad Brennan, major congrats. That was probably the... I know there wasn't a ton of lead changes that race, but that battle with the four cars, people side draft past each other and getting each other loose and tight, it was fun, man. Um, you know if you saw that in real life, you'd be biting your nails, jumping up and down. Like, it was wild. Four cars under a blanket. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Major congrats to Chad Brennan. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, we'll see you guys next time. Later. Stand and scream your name Have you hit him in the ass Never let off the gas Till you rode into victory lane He said, boy, do you know how it feels When you're running three wide Cause if you daytona bound Let me wonder you're in for a ride